peace of Christ be with you, and also with you. gather in prayer around the cross. The room will remain darkened as we listen to scripture and sing our prayer. The songs are simple and quickly learned. When it is time, you'll be invited to kneel or stand by your own cross or to light a candle in your own home to pray. After the final blessing, you may remain in a time of prayer. When you depart, do so in peace. We are now invited into prayer and song. silence, in the company of strangers and friends. To God alone we pour out our hearts, kneeling or sitting beside the cross.
For God alone we wait in silence, lighting a candle and watching its flame. The Spirit helps us in our weakness. For we do not know how to pray as we ought, but that very Spirit intercedes with sighs too deep for words. And God, who searches the heart, knows what is the mind of the Spirit, because the Spirit intercedes for the saints according to the will of God. This evening, in the place of our homily, we will have a moment to hear the words of Psalm 121 and to reflect just a little bit in some time of silence on those words. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where will my help come? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. The Lord will keep your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time on and forevermore. We take a moment of silence.
we hear again these words from Psalm 121. This time noticing particularly words that might jump out to us, or words that might stick in our ear and keep us from listening further. Ponder those words and what God is saying through them. I lift up my eyes to the hills, from where will my help come? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber or sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time on and forevermore. We take a moment to reflect on those words that jumped off the page or jumped out at us in that moment. Those of you joining us on Facebook, if there's a word or a phrase that jumped out at you, you can use the comment section to throw those out to the community and to share those with the rest of us that are gathered here together. I'll give you just a moment or two longer to think about those words that you may have heard and those words that might be sticking out to you right now or as you want to begin typing those thoughts as I read one final time through Psalm 121. I lift up my eyes to the hills, from where will my help come? My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved, he who keeps you will not slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper, the Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time on and forevermore. Sisters and brothers in Christ Jesus, we did not receive a spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but we have received a spirit of adoption. As you're gathered at home or wherever you may be viewing this time of worship, I hope that you took a moment to create your own sanctuary space. Or if you want to go now and grab a candle or a cross from maybe off your wall or from another part of your home, to create a space to gather around, so that in this time we can gather together around the cross as beloved children of God in whom the Spirit dwells. The Spirit intercedes with sighs too deep for words. So come, you who are troubled or in distress, you whose burdens are great, whose faith is weak. The Spirit intercedes with sighs too deep for words. Come, you who cry out with the whole creation for redemption and renewal. The Spirit intercedes with sighs too deep for words. Come, you who do not know what to ask or how to pray. The Spirit intercedes with sighs too deep for words. 
when our music begins again, you are invited to gather around your cross and pray. There's no rush. Allow this time to wash over you. Gather around the cross alone or with another. Light a candle as a sign of the light that no darkness can overcome. Join in singing the simple chants as we surround one another in prayer and light. Let the music speak to you as you listen to God's voice speaking from those around you. Come when you feel drawn. Gather all of our prayers in your mercy and grant to us what you know we need, that we may walk in the life and peace of your Spirit. Through Jesus Christ, our hope and our salvation. Amen. 
God Almighty, God most merciful, bless us, keep us, and grant us peace. Amen. Go in peace or remain to pray. Thank you for joining us on Facebook Live this evening. I hope this was a time of meaningful worship for you. And we'll be back again next Wednesday to share again in this time of worship together. We'll also join you at 10 o'clock on Sunday morning. And for those that want to download the bulletin ahead of time, you can go to our website, hopempls.org. Click on the News tab, and when you click there, you'll see the date for the worship experience. Click on that, and you can download the bulletin, and you'll have it for you. If you have any prayer concerns, I invite you to share them using the comment link here on Facebook. Feel free to email prayer concerns to uh, me at uh, pastor at hopempls.org, um, or you can give me a call, too. Certainly want to be in touch in this time where... We are separated physically, but joined together in the Spirit. So may God bless you and keep you in this time of, of uncertainty, but this time of also trusting that God is here among us. Amen.